Morton's been hitting the gym, bro. You see him flex in that uh, in that character intro? Yeah. Look at yeah. his icon, dude. Unless he's yeah. doing that thing where it's like you're fat, so you heard, like move your arm in I've, a specific way to make it look like it's. Never mind. I'm pretty, uh, sure, I'm pretty sure Morton is actually one of the heavier, uh, stronger Koopas. Uh, uh, anyway, else on the match. Uh, all right, yeah, but speaking of, actually, he's not showing it though. Like he's already up, he's already hit a 73, but uh, he can he can pull it back real quick. Yeah, we see, we see quite a bit of patience with both players. Like, they're not, they're none of them are getting too close or committal at the moment. Like, yeah, like right there. Did you see that? Yeah. Pac-Man whipped the grab. Brand knew he actually was going to get there in time to punish, so he ran up and shielded, and then instead punished the counter attack that DB3 tried to throw after. Ah, uh, yeah, that's, yeah, you're, yeah, they're getting deep, they're getting deep right now. But um, yeah, oh, bro, okay, got uh, yeah. Yeah. Now, one of the uh, kind of kooky things about this matchup is both of these characters, the way that they get their kills is with, like, a lot of... It's they have to engineer them, you know? A lot of setup, a lot of planning. And I think that it's going to be really cool to see sort of the interplay between both of these characters trying to find that final, uh, that final hit opening. Yeah, yeah, like it's that's the thing. It's like it, it, you don't always get like the two like set of characters against each other. When you do, it's like it, it turns into a game of chess. Um, a very exciting game of chess, of course. Uh, uh, do you think chess is not exciting? Oh, uh, chess is exciting. Like, I no. mean, I guess chess is the Smash by. <laughs> <laughs> How terrible at chess. <laughs> Oh, I like chess. I'm trying to get more into it, but also you know, I play it more, but I don't play it. But uh, yeah, now uh, regardless. Uh, yeah, I mean, we're starting to seeing some grandmaster moves coming out from BB3, yeah. just running right through, getting that grab for some solid damage. Yeah, B yeah, BB3 is uh is a is really uh shaping to be the queen of this match. Uh, uh, that was not, that did not come out right. <laughs> uh, but anyway. Yeah, but like Ran is up. Oh, Ran is down another stock, and BB3 is 38%. This is um, oh, and, and you know BB3 wants to get that extra prize. Like you know he wants to seal the deal. Oh yeah, but at the same time, like with Pac-Man, when you have this much of a lead, it kind of it behooves you to play patient, you know, to really try and find the exact setup that you need in order to uh. Like, you know, just to seal the game. Yeah, like, that's one thing I think BB3, like, he's got to he's gotta keep playing Patriot because, like, you know, yeah, he's definitely getting a little more aggressive here. All right, key in hand, by the way, for those of you who don't know. He's going to try and catch the landing with it, maybe? Yeah, I don't think, I don't know if it's going to be his key to victory, though. Uh, there, yeah, I mean, that was, like, the sort of disadvantage that was prime key throw territory. Oh, oh. The last hit of dash attack. Hey, get them five percent, and like, uh, like uh, this, this late in the game, five percent means a whole lot. Oh, and another I, I was, I don't know the name of which ghost that is. Uh, uh po po poopy. Um, pokey. Giant fart. Uh, giant fart is giant fart. Giant fart. Um, the ghost of giant fart. Rip. Oh uh, uh, yeah, rest in peace. No, rip. Rip. Yes, rip. Rip the giant fart. Rip the giant. <laughs> oh, I get it. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. I'll be here. I'm, I'm leaving now. Um, <laughs> but uh. I, I really want to point out that VB3, I can think of one stock he's gotten all on stream that wasn't on a forward smash. <laughs> so if you're Bran, think about that. Really just let that be etched in your mind. That's how he's going to be getting his kills. That's what he's going to be looking for at those higher percents. And granted, it's not easy to just say, oh, then I won't get forward smash. Because if you remember, one of them, he did it from on top of the hydrant, which changes things. You know, that's kind of an anti-year option at that point. So Yeah, it's a, yeah, it's a very, like, it's a very tricky option. Like, yeah. Yeah. It's yes, it's just a forward. You know, he's killing with forward smash every time. But the origin of that forward smash is, you know, it's like getting a different origin story each time. Yeah, you're getting like, yeah. All right, but actually, Bran is uh, Bran's show, showing a bit of a little a bit of vigor here. Um, he's working hard. Um, yeah. Ooh. Oh, yeah. There, there's that, that Galaxian lasts for so long. In that situation, it's a really good at trapping landings. Oh my God. Oh man. Just like that, even stock half. Oh, that is not an even, st even, even percentage. 
This is also a town and city. This is a high ceiling. Just didn't care. Yeah, like that's it. I think with I think with these two players, like it really can swing either way. There's no like there's just I think like they're very much evenly matched. It's like you know it's really it's it really turns into just game of chess. I also I really th like the fact that Brand playing around uh, VB3's options a lot better right now. You saw he had that uh, that bell, and he really made sure to bait him into throwing the bell, and then just danced right around it. Ooh. Ooh but Pac-Man Pac got him. Yeah, I think he wanted to grab the bell right there, but I think even if he grabbed it, he would have gotten hit by that back air regardless. That was kind of just a complex bait from VB3. Ooh, super armor. You don't see it often because normally people don't try to hit back, man, but... Air dodged into it. I think oh, he directly oh. air dodged away. And he tried, he tried to stun him with that Mecha Koopa. Ooh, hey, he's yeah, like yeah. I feel like Ren is very much in. Uh, in oh, never mind that. Hey, kind oh. of at the same time. Oh my god. Uh, he needs to find the kill. And Town and City, larger stage. It's kind of. Oh wow! Oh, right there. there. Cool. All right, let's see what Brand can do with this lead. He really wants to take this to a game three. BB3 has not been touched on his final stock just quite yet. Oh, finally we see it, but I like that interrupting forward air. It can be so hard to get those. Ooh. If you don't have a true combo on Pac-Man, he has so many ways of just getting out of a bad situation. Yeah, ooh, wow. the forward smash, he just keeps going for that forward smash, and like, it pays off. Sometimes. Yeah, that, by the way, he absolutely survived that because he connected on the card. <laughs> Oh yeah, like <laughs> uh, yeah, the car. Yeah, if you got hit, if you got hit, if you got hit in the board, like, yeah, yeah, we'd be looking at a bit of a different story right now. Oh, that was such an awkward spot. I think that in order for Brand to avoid that, he would have gone, had to gone for like a beer of <laughs> Mecha Koopa. Where are you going? Going for beer reverse Mecha Koopa in order to like change his landing. Oh uh, yeah, that's and that's wacky to do. I mean, sometimes it's the right call. Uh, maybe he didn't have Mecha Koopa. But... Ooh, not so much. Yeah, like he's he's rocking he's rocking at the uh, one fifty nine percent. Like, yeah. Like every, I think this is one where every percent is gonna count for him. Like every little bit of extra credit he can get is gonna count. Oh, you yeah, know this is such a grinding game. And look at that. Even if he dies right here, he, oh, and he's not even going to. Oh, oh what a he di! He did. He did. Is he gonna? He's looking for the tongue. Oh, that weak back air is so weak. That's like weak times three. <laughs> He tried, he tried to, uh. <laughs> Did you see Pac-Man's, Pac-Man's skull just got <laughs> just freaking stretched. <laughs> just, he went, in, it's like you go into Photoshop and do the click and drag oh. to it. Just like, whoop. Oh yeah, just like, oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, um, more than out here, more than out here uh, to make, making memes with Photoshop. Uh, yep, and we're going to be moving into a game three between these two. The winner of this guaranteed third place. And maybe if we can get some confirmation, just third place payout. Oh, top four pays out. So both of these guys actually guaranteed money. But one of them is going to make back their venue fee. The other one's going to make a positive. So. Yeah. Well, yeah like, one of them will be able to have, like, you know, actually go out to McDonald's after that and get a full meal. Yeah, the other Maybe, maybe not for me. Maybe a surprise. Maybe a soda too. Actually, you probably shouldn't go to McDonald's. Kind of should throw the match. <laughs> Just give up and go to McDonald's down the road. It's the only. It's the only way to keep you healthy is to throw the match. <laughs> oh, interesting. Went for the key at this point in time. <gasps> what? But 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 but. Oh. All right. Things pretty even. Honestly, it's kind of. I feel like the most even start we've had between these two. Yeah, they're just going, like, tip for tat. Like... Yeah. Not seeing the huge combos. Yeah, it feels like both players are playing very analytically. Like, I feel like we're, we're going to see is they're both reading each other. Like, kind of like... You know, again, they're both getting kind of downloads from each other at once, and, like, one one has a higher download speed at some point. But I don't know. It's like, it's anyone's game, really. Uh, yeah, you gotta watch out for that bell. Yeah. You do not want to get him or the fourth. Match. Well, he's he's doing a great job. That once the bell comes out, he starts going for these really slick movement options with the uh, the cart. Okay. Ooh, not the key to victory. He really is liking that forward smash. 
I mean, yeah, that, that thing about what that forward smash has gone, man. It's got a lot of stuff. It can turn you into a ghost. Oh, I don't know what oh. that was. That was, oh, that was such a misinput. And what a pivotal misinput it was. That gave Brandon a massive tempo swing here. If he had lost that stock, he would then have to, you know, find a way to take a stock from a, uh, a Pac-Man who can o play only defensive. Oh. So, yeah, this Brand is big. Look at that. It's 80% yeah, Brand already. Brandon can get to more here. He just has to... He can't, he, can't, he can't go too crazy. Yeah. And also on top of that, the fact that this is a kind of matchup that's so mentally intensive means that when you die because of an unfortunate SD like that, how do you get back to the point where you need to be thinking about 20 variables at once? That's what kind of what we're seeing right here. VB3 just, oh, and right there, he should have pummeled. I, I don't, I feel like if he pummeled, that would have killed. Yeah, yeah, I mean, like, that's the thing. I feel like BB3 is looking at, I think, slipping away, and, like, you know, I, I hope that's, you know, it might be getting a little bit, a little bit rough, but there we Ooh. go. All right, that's the thing. You got the, you got the apple, like, if you can just pull some magic here, pull some magic, pull some combos, um, you know, really get the Pac-Man, uh, you know, the Pac-Man, oh, whatever, I can't think of fun, but, um, uh, What a catch. Oh, man. That was kind of honestly, think about it, a risky commitment. Forward smashing the uh, the hydrant like that, it locks him in place for a long, long time. But, I mean, the reward of it you saw, extending the hitbox, getting him the stock, and it was a it's a, it's a big lead, although we now see VB3, I think, coming back into his mental composure and starting to make that lead a lot less, uh, a lot more manageable for himself. Well, yeah, because I think, I think VB3 now is catching a lot more of what uh, Bran is doing. Like, Ooh, we went for the up smash there. You know, I think it was, that was like hunger. That was like, I really just want to kill you right now. Yeah, like, you know, I don't. I had a, I had a friend who played, uh, we used to go come here and play. Oh, there we go. All right, it's back to ending anyone's game. Yeah. VB3 is back on board. If anything, I say that VB3 kind of has the momentum right now. Ooh. Yeah, yeah, because that's the thing. When you, you kind of have that back and forth, and now, like, you know, Brand is just kind of taking a punch in the face. Like, yeah, and if you're Brand, you might start thinking, this is. It's. it's Good competitors don't do this, but it always happens. Where if you have a big lead against someone you really want to beat, you're like, oh, I have this game won. And that thought occurs to you. And then if it starts to slip away, your mentality can just crack. You're like, I had this game won. I'm throwing. Oh, no, you know? Yeah, no, dude, that, ha that can happen. Like, I, like, everyone has a feeling that at some point. Yeah, whether or not, you know, you want to. But, yeah, no, it's like... There's not much of a lead here. I mean, like, VV3 definitely has a little more percent and doesn't want to get hit by, like, you know, a, a drill or something. Yeah, it but is true that, at the very least, VV3 could die here. I feel like Brand is safe for at least a little bit longer. Yeah, it would take it would take a very, like, specific hit for a Brand to die here, but, like, VV3 is, like, definitely on his deathbed. <gasps> oh, my God. Oh, I now, spoke too soon. Yeah, now Brand is now oh, Brand is trouble. Are you kidding me? Oh, he finds it. He does. VB, like, seriously, VB3 got himself back together. Like, you could definitely see, like, the second stock was having to, like, was definitely a little, like,